Hello my sweet friends, how are you doing? This time is gonna be an effect breakdown, so not really a tutorial, but if you follow it until the end, that's basically it. And then I will show you some different ways to customize it and uh, make your own version. So what we have here, it's uh, basically easy. So it's the same kind of template from my previous tutorial you can find and uh, that is for free download I kept it free you can open it up and uh, start from there then to achieve this effect we also need uh, to make our Sobel filter working so we're gonna go on add assets import from spark AI library look for patches here shaders and to find it in here with the instructions to make it work as you can see I simply followed it we got the device we got divide etc shovel filter swizzle and then we have to output on the material of course here we placed it in a different way so we have this is the Sobel patch so if you start from my free template from the previous tutorial you're going to find the camera texture plug inside here what you want to do is connect the camera texture into the Sobel filter texture and then output from this weasel inside here so you don't uh, you will not get any kind of error or complaining then we still have our mix patch which determines with the alpha uh, how much it's gonna be the effect it's gonna be blurry so as you see if I go 0 0.5 we get this kind of thing it's like uh, just outlines uh, yeah just kind of exaggerated outlines just because if you look at the so you should connect the screen scale inside here but then you don't you're not able to adjust how big you want the outlines if you want something crazy like this then you can't go and so let's say we go with 10 and uh, I put back the alpha to 0 0.9 as you can see it start glowing even more it's kind of cool but maybe you can't really recognize yourself I don't know just try with this divide patch and adjust numbers inside here until you're satisfied cool so that's the first part then we go inside an rgb shift shader in amount one which is the maximum and then inside here as always i have you will probably find this rgb patch like this uh, with the multiply at the end 1.3 but as you can see it's too light coming in and it's gonna destroy your effect so you want to turn that on one you don't need fragment stage and then i've messed it a little bit with these parameters now it's disconnected but if you try and connect it somewhere in the 2d transform pack then you got to see some difference happening and of course then it's always up to your taste so let's go once you're ready mess around a little bit here try different blend modes and then back to main up here and let's keep going then we go we get into a contrast because I felt like without it it was just washed a little bit see it's just not the same 
so I've got a contrast 1.1 kind of works for me you can probably go till 2 then it starts getting I mean it's cool but you know it's out of control but it's kind of reminds me of paint a program I used to play with uh, to make kind of artistic content when I was a kid you should know about it and then we go into the render pass which I keep uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 you're gonna get it 1 and 1 when you open it but then it's uh, the effect it's, uh, over overthinking and it kind of acts uh, it, it kind of glitches, but not in a cool way. It's like lagging, if that's a word. Then here you can uh, you can adjust this color channel. RGB will look mostly the same. RG will look like this, and then R will look like this. Which is kind of cool. If you stay still, you get the kind of portray. But if you move around. That also happens just with the regular effect, but you can see better when it's just one color. Cute. Then it's plugged inside here. You already find it in the template. And uh, this is interacting like wireless with this little patch and then the output patch, which is here. We're gonna see now. So then I want to, to just have this effect on the highlight and uh, have a little, a little bit of black just to accentuate the effect. And that's why I added the Twitter shader straight after the shader render pass texture. Grab it and apply it inside. This case in the highlight color, but I'm gonna show you you can you can find a cool balance inside these patches here so this is the output i've attached a blend patch which allows me to blend a source as you can see and a destination with uh, this little menu here that allows you to change the different uh, blending mode See? Oh, that's cool, man. And, uh, you know, of course, try this and that because not everyone works, but, you know, just try. And then, so what's happening in the three tone shader is I connect the texture, this delay frame. And I've connected it into texture. And then I've connected this chain, which is what we saw in the beginning, that it's generating these lights and uh, kind of clones. I've attached it into the highlight, but as I told you, you can also go in the mid tone and then leave some colors here, or you can go black. Or also shadows, etc. Et you can also, let's say, plug this delay frame into the highlight, and then you, you plug this shader render pass into the texture, and it gives something slightly different. Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, and I go back from where I was. Then I've attached straight the camera texture inside the shadow to have a clean camera texture covering only the shadow part. If you want, you can also plug it inside the mid tone. And so have uh, only the highlights um, affecting. <clears throat> but uh, I liked it with a little bit of black, as I told you earlier. Do your tips and tricks. 
you can also disconnect the shadow color and have something like this as I showed you uh, in a demo video this is cool like you're like a painting moving like I don't know all right that is it basically you know change colors and you can kind of I liked it with red for some reason it's kind of generates I don't know it's kind of cool with red of course you can insert you know just experiment so guys, that is it. If you made it until here, you should now have this effect. If uh, you have, oh, that one's cool. So if you have any further questions, let me know. Please drop a like, subscribe and turn notifications on if you want uh, much love guys. Thank you so much. Uh, if you watched and reached here because it means you love me so i love you too wish you a great day see you in the next one